Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about lactic acidosis. It's about four diseases that use it as uh, their mechanism of action. Now, in the past, I've done videos on how lactic acidosis is the mechanism of osteoporosis, heart disease, anxiety, other heart symptoms like palpitations, um, and diabetes, so, and, and cancer. So now, these four that I'm going to talk about with this video are metastasis of cancer, addiction, arthritis, and food allergies. I'm going to start with metastasis. So here's an article on my iPad, and it's from September 1st of 2014. The name of the article, this research article, says, Metabolic reprogramming induced by ketone bodies diminishes pancreatic cancer cachexia. So this is the lactic acid cycle. It's also called the cachexia cycle. It's also called the Cori cycle. And um, what this research shows is that when you go into ketosis, you eliminate this part of lactic acidosis, and that's putting a roadblock in the cancer. So it uh, diminishes pancreatic cancer cachexia. Now, I'm going to read one line from this research article. And uh, it says, The increased conversion of pyruvate, which is the sugar that goes into the cell to be used for fuel, um, the increased conversion of pyruvate into lactate, which is one of the four waste products, by aerobic glycolysis, or sugar burning, leads to acidosis in tumor microenvironments that facilitates invasion and metastasis of cancer cells. So lactic acidosis facilitates metastasis of cancer. So there's how, there's how this cycle uh, makes cancer grow and spread. Okay, now the next condition I want to talk about is addiction. So addiction is lactic acidosis in that the liver is supposed to clean out wastes, like drugs for example, and it's not doing a very good job. And now the waste products here, they're not actually acids, but they act like acids. And they cause pain, and they cause anxiety. So the person who's addicted to, it could be sugar, it could be street drugs, it could be medications, painkillers. Um, those are covering up the pain of the acids. And then the drugs themselves actually harm the liver even more. So the liver can't work very good. I put X's here. And then you get a backlog of waste products on this side. And that's where you get the, uh, the pain and the symptoms. So then the person drugs themselves again to try to squash this down. And it becomes a you know, never-ending cycle. So people try to stop drugs cold turkey, but yet they still have these waste products. So you got to clean that out. So as an example, if you have an alcoholic, they should be taking Cataplex B, which I have a, a video called King of All Supplements. They should be taking 25 a day and eating liver, and over a long period of time, they're going to re be repairing their liver. The alcohol and drugs harm the liver, and it's a race between eating liver to repair the hepatic cells and the drug, which is turning the, the liver into a big mass of scar tissue. So that's addiction. And I had a guy, he was a heroin addict a long time ago, he got off the heroin, but he had these bad thoughts um, 10 years later. So I put him on Cataplex B, and he was much better, and all those bad thoughts went away. Those streaming, apocalyptic thoughts went away. Okay, the next condition is arthritis. And when you have these waste products that act like acids, they turn constructive enzymes into destructive enzymes. Those enzymes then start to attack ligaments and tendons, connective tissue, that includes joints, and then therefore you get arthritis. So the mechanism of arthritis is commonly lactic acidosis. The last one is food allergies, which is on the rise. All of, you know, these are all on the rise. <laughs> so food allergies are a dysfunction of the liver because it, this does play a role in uh, the digestion of food. So when the liver is um, toxic and not working very well, they put X's here again, because we have a deficiency of B vitamins or, or just toxicity in the liver, you get a buildup of waste products, and it could be worse when eating gluten or when eating peanuts, because peanuts could have mold on them. 
or you know there could be um, preservative chemicals or food coloring so all these toxins are not getting cleaned by the liver and they, you get a buildup of waste and then people have a reaction and the body's trying to clean this waste up through the skin or and you get a rash or through the lungs and you get um, asthma or through the sinuses and you get a runny nose congestion in the ears and uh, kids they don't hear very well they get irritated easily because of the pain in the sinuses um, they get bad breath that's that's all lactic acidosis and you can blame the food because it gets worse from the food when in actuality it's this mechanism that's the problem and the food yeah it could be you know poor quality making it worse but even if somebody somebody who's really severely allergic to food they could be eating healthy food and this and this could be going on so there's four different completely um, seemingly um, unrelated conditions but yet they're all related just like they're related to diabetes and osteoporosis and heart disease it's all the same thing right here so I hope this helps and um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll keep updating you on the information that I learn